Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Alita One figure. Uh, Alita One is a character who appeared in one episode of the original Generation One cartoon called The Search for Alpha Trion. She is Optimus Prime's ex girlfriend and is probably Ariel. She had a bigger role in the uh, IDW, first IDW universe uh, towards the end, where she's the warden of a prison ship. And it's a little bit more morally ambiguous than other Autobots. Other than that, not a lot to talk about. Now, I do have her first figure within the Chug line, and that is the Combiner's War figure. That's put away for hurricane season, and really that turns into a giant plane, whereas this turns into a much more accurate land vehicle of some sort. Now, you will see here that there is a QR code. If you go there, it'll give you biography and whatever. I'll leave that up there for you. Yay. As far as the vehicle mode goes, it is a cool looking car. Um, she does have pretty much visible everything on the underneath. You do have the false head up here. And yeah, it's a car. Um, you now it is like a futuristic car, so you get these thrusters. Thrusters, because you couldn't figure out what else to do with the feet. And she does have these beautiful weapons. Like I said, she has this false head here as well, which you can remove said you can remove so that you can take the guns combine them into one and give her like a rooftop gun I personally will stick with this um, as far as the vehicle mode goes I do like it it is nice it is simple um, it definitely reminds me of some concept art I once saw of chrome dome being repainted into RC and we'll get to that when we get to robot mode here. But as far as that goes, yeah, that's about it. The only articulation is you can move this, you can move this, and place the guns wherever you wish. Now, transformation. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I haven't done this in a couple weeks here. Again, I've been on vacation for most of this time. So, yeah, you do put the feet out like this. Come back here, if I remember right. Yeah. Now, these are on a double hinge. And you'll see that these tag in through this T piece here. Now these you'll bring out, you lock down, and then you'll fold this down and in. Give it a nice secure feeling. Do the same thing over here again. And we'll get there eventually. You're going to turn this at the waist. Now the arms, now these, this has me a little bit nervous how this works. But these are tabbed in through the elbow. Um, you'll see here, there's a slight hole, and when you transfer, get it in there, you have to almost have the arm at a weird bend to get it in. I like it, I think it's fun, but I do expect that piece to eventually break off, unfortunately. And then the roof here is tabbed into this arm as well. So let's go ahead and get these separated, okay? You're going to want to turn that like this, turn the hand back like this. So far, so good, right? You can go ahead and do this if you wish. I tell you do that later, but might as well just get it done. Now, as far as this whole section here goes, it's on a couple different sliders. The most important part is you're going to fold this up and in. And then this, once you untab it from up here, is going to come up like this. And come up like this. There is this tab. There is a tab located on this piece here. It goes into the back of her neck if you can get it lined up. I don't always do, but yeah, that's her in a robot mode. It is a cool looking robot mode. Now I have seen some people display these differently. You can lower them. You can raise them. But I'm going to talk about them in a little bit from ideas here. But yeah, it is a cool looking figure. Let's take a look at her. She does have a great head sculpt. It is feminine. You do get the Alito One shape head with her two antennas there. And very simplistic Generation One design for the cartoon. Yeah, let's talk about articulation. Her head, can it's on a ball joint. You can move it around. Arms, you do get a single elbow bend. You do get this mushroom pick here, so you get 360. Rotation, this will get in the way. And there's not much you can do about it. But yeah. 
you can kind of adjust them and try to get it out. You do get out there. You do get the waist rotation due to transformation. You do get a leg kick. You do get a leg slightly back. You do get good knee bend. Feet don't do anything else than go side to side. That is Alita 1 in a nutshell. Now let's go ahead and grab her weapons here. Again, she comes with the two. And at this point, if you don't know how to put a Transformer's weapons in, you haven't collected a Transformer in a very, very, very long time. But yeah, now she can shoot you. Now she can look badass. And yeah, really, that's really it. Um, as far as size goes, not a lot to talk about. She is rather small. Um, let's see if I have any figures out at the moment. Here she is with Masterpiece Bumblebee. And you'll see she's just a little, about a head taller than him. And granted, he's rather small, but it is what it is. Um, I like her. I think she's good. I think she'll look good with Optimus. And the fact that she's the non-combining version means I can have Orthia up in the background and have her out at the same time. If I put them all out. Right now, everything's in storage. And I only have so much room, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's a cool looking figure. I do like it. I do dig it. Um, I actually found this at Target a couple weeks ago. So, good luck hunting it down if you want her. Now, she is uh, being retooled and repainted into Minerva. Which means you're probably going to eventually get a Nightbeat. But I really think this will be retooled into RC. And the reason I say that is... I've talked about before how... RC's backpack is near impossible to get right, and it makes her look awkward. And you have to, like, yeah, fold everything in, and then she gets this huge backpack. I think by removing this one piece, and maybe doing a slight retool on these parts, and, of course, get a different head, you will have the best-looking RC yet with a backpack that, is, that isn't detachable. But, yeah, that's just my thought. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Please comment down below, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see next.